So in the last part, we uh, saw how we can instantly get access to uh, our files either on local or on any of the cloud drives uh, on my HubSpot records. Uh, so right now I'm going to be working with my files in my Google Drive. Uh, and let's say I uh, want to uh, associate this particular file, this particular Google Doc, uh, to uh, uh, this HubSpot contact so that whenever I come back to the contact, I can see uh, 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 what I have associated or what I have shared with this contact. So I can just click on this. And for now, I'm, uh, I'm going to deselect the sharing option. And I'm only going to attach this particular file to the contact. This is what we call attaching or associating the file. Um, and I can do the same thing for folders. So for example, I can also select multiple uh, uh, things over here. And I can attach two things at a time. So let me select this folder and this file. And let me add this to the contact. And now you see uh, these two tiles show up on the HubSpot uh, uh, widget, on the Cloud Files widget. Uh, this is uh, my Google Doc, and this is my uh, 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 this is my uh, folder that I have uh, pulled from my uh, from my Google Drive. Uh, so uh, at this point, you see that there is no way of sharing this. For example, if I uh, if I click on these, they are either going to uh, take me to my own uh, Cloud Files account where I am previewing this file, uh, but this is not really a publicly shareable link. Uh, uh, or it would, if I click on this, it would take me uh, to my Google Drive, which again is not a link that I would like to share. So in order to share this file further, uh, what you can do is you can just click on this share option over here. And this is going to create a Cloud Files link. And initially, when we were adding the file, if we had selected the checkbox uh, to create the public link, this, uh, this dialog box would have showed up automatically. Uh, now, at this point, you see that this Cloud Files link has been created. And this is a very powerful link. Um, uh, there are a lot of things. There are a lot of security settings that you can put up on this link. There is a lot of analytics that you can uh, uh, get on this link. This link can also be created for folders. This link can also be created for any type of downloadable or viewable files. And this link can also be created for a collection of these folders and files, uh, which we call the data room. And then you can do a, a bunch of stuff from this uh, on this link right from your HubSpot uh, uh, record. So in the next part, we'll cover how exactly the different uh, settings, uh, what are the different settings that we can apply and how what happens when we open this uh, link. So that's it for this part.